Okay. 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 Um, sorry, I, I, I arrived late. I was uh, spent, spent half a day trying to get into Wellington and half a day trying to get out of Wellington. So, but I'm here today, which is, which is why. Look, Jennifer's given that summary. I just want to make three quick points because uh, I know we're running out of time. Um, we should not underestimate the support that we have across the New Zealand community. I think um, where the situation is now is vastly different to what it was 5, 10, 15 years ago. I think public opinion is moving very strongly in the direction of support for, for Palestinians. Um, I think the, particularly the invasion of Lebanon, where the, um, where the Israelis got beaten back by, by um, Hezbollah in 2006, I think. Yes, yes. Um, that, I think, people started to see that this, this wasn't just little, little Israel surrounded by all these, um, all these Arab hordes who wanted to drive people into the sea, but Israel was the, was the aggressor. And uh, I think the other ones, obviously the, the Mavi Marmara uh, and the um, and Operation Cast Lead, I think those things have swung public opinion quite strongly in our direction. So we shouldn't be sort of feeling nervous about, about a big boycott campaign. We should, be, we should be welcoming it because we can make big strides, I think, with it. Um, secondly, we won't win this with rational argument alone. Right? It's really important to, I think, for us to accept that. That rational argument gets you maybe, maybe towards halfway. But in fact, we've got to get emotional responses from people on this issue. Because it's when people are affected emotionally that they really think about stuff and they really start to, um, yeah, start to think seriously about it and reevaluate their own, their own position. Um, that's not to say we don't have the rational arguments. We do have the rational arguments there, but you, we, we can't just expect that that will get us where, where we want to go, if it won't. Um, and we're not going to win this by one person at a time. We just don't have time to run a campaign. We are, our job is to go out of here and convince individuals to join the campaign. It's not like that at all. We've got to do things that capture the public attention, the public imagination, and sometimes the public anger. And, and in that way, we get people to engage with the issue in ways that they won't have in, in the past. And uh, the last thing, be prepared for conflict. And, you know, we do have to be, this, we're asking for big changes here. The bigger the change you ask for, the bigger the conflict. And we just have to accept that it's going to be a lot of conflict. And we should welcome it when it happens. If we don't have conflict, we are not making progress. And I've given this example many times. We used to, I used to get highly offended when the New Zealand Herald would put out media releases attacking the anti apartheid movement. And uh, we'd get all sort of hit up about it, say, you know, they, they're calling us fanatics, they're doing this. Stuff. And in reality, that was great. If they're ignoring you, if they're ignoring us, we're not winning. But once they are attacking us, then we're in a fight. And that's, and that's good because we will make much more progress in a fight than we will by trying to convince people one at a time or just using rational arguments. So, so kia ora